Hi there, my name's Chris, sales manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. We have a beautiful new product here to look at uh, from Philips. Uh, there's five models in the range. The model numbers are the 32 PFL 8605, the 37 PFL 8605, the 40 PFL 8605, the 46 PFL 8605 and the 52 PFL 8605. So five models in the range there, five screen sizes, 32, 37, 40, 46 and 52 inch. The specification is the same on all five models apart from one aspect on the 32 inch and has a scanning ratio of 100 hertz. The rest of the range, the scanning ratio is 200 hertz, which basically means that if you've got a standard TV which scans normally at 50 hertz, there's 50 pictures per second making up the image. On the 32 inch, it's 100 pictures per second. On the rest of the range, because you're looking at larger screens, there's 200 pictures per second making up that image. The reason for that is, is because when you're looking at the larger screen sizes, if you're getting any fast movement, uh, you need a faster scanning ratio, so you're um, less likely to notice any sort of motion blur or drag in the image. So on the larger screens, they put 200 hertz on, they don't consider it necessary on the smaller screen at 32 inch. But the rest of the spec is the same. Uh, first of all, uh, beautiful design on, uh, on this set. Um, you're looking at a uh, glass base, which is on a swivel glass screen at the front here which runs right up to the edge, it's a frameless um, sort of design on the set, beautiful design. What I'll do first of all is spin the set round and we'll have a look at the sockets on the rear of the TV, we'll go through those and then we'll start looking at uh, some of the menus and the specification on the, uh, on the range itself. Okay so here we have the rear of the TV, uh, let's go uh, through some of these sockets, we'll take it from, from the top, uh, we've got here uh, first of all an Ethernet connection just underneath there you've got a SCART socket, you've got component in on here which is the red, green, blue connection, things like Xbox 360s and some DVD players uh, can use component, we've got components here. That is the separate audio feed for the component, take the audio in. Uh, you've also got a headphone socket uh, just here as well, there's a separate audio in uh, on here. Um, underneath here all the sockets are mounted underneath the panel so you can get away with a very slim bracket on this TV uh, because the socket's completely recessed underneath here. Uh, you've got first of all an additional SCART just underneath here as well so there's another SCART socket recessed underneath. You've got a uh, digital uh, coaxial out on here so there's no optical socket on the back of this TV. They feed the digital signal out of the set through a digital coaxial socket which is on there. You've got three HDMI's, HDMI 1, 2 and 3, so there's three HDMI uh, sockets recessed under there. There's also your antenna, which is your, your aerial socket just there as well. Next to that, just here, it says 3D out. Uh, we'll cover that um, later in this uh, video clip. And you've also got a VGA socket, which is your PC connection, just underneath there as well. On the side of the TV, there is an additional HDMI just here on the side of the set. Uh, there's also a USB connection just on here as well and you've also got an SD card reader so if you've got a digital still camera you can pop your card into the side of the TV, you can have your photographs on screen as well. If we just pan out uh, a second on here as well, um, the set itself has wall fixings on here so you can wall mount the TV. The actual um, wall mounting uh, for this set you're looking at 200mm on the width uh, by 300mm on the uh, height. So it's basically 200 by 300 uh, for your wall bracket connection on there as well. So we'll spin the set back round um, and we'll have a look at some of the features on the TV uh, itself. One other thing that we didn't mention on there is your power socket for connecting this up to the mains. Yet again that is also recessed. The power socket is down here and recessed just underneath the panel here and just next to that you've got also um, a main on off switch as well. Okay so we'll spin the set round now and we'll have a look at some of the features on the TV. Okay, so let's go through some of the specification on this set. First of all, it just oozes quality. As I said, you're looking at glass base, superb frameless design on the TV. Uh, the remote control is a, a brushed sort of aluminium metal finish, beautiful design. If I get a close up on this for you, if I bring this up to the, uh, to the camera now, uh, it really is a superb looking remote control. It's sort of brushed aluminium finish, uh, beautiful design, not plastic, all metal, absolute quality. On the remote control itself you have a home button on here which puts you into the menu. Fantastic menu system on the uh, Philips range of TVs. 
and beautifully easy to set up as well. On the keypad here, we've got up, down, um, uh, left and right. If we click down to set up, this range of TVs um, are LED edge lit, um, so superb slim design panels as well. They're only five centimeters in depth. As we looked at before, all the sockets are recessed, so you can get it really close to the wall. The settings on the TV couldn't be easier. If we go down to TV settings, we just press OK in the center of the remote control. Puts us into the menu. Now, on the picture menu, um, we've got all the adjustments on here uh, for uh, things like uh, the Ambilight, which we'll go through in just a moment. We'll show you the Ambilight feature um, and all the contrast, brightness, color settings on there as well. Uh, in the smart picture mode, you've got preset modes for vivid cinema, game mode, Whatever you're doing with the set, whether you're gaming on it, um, you select the game mode and it sets the contrast brightness levels exactly where they should be for when you're gaming on there as well. If we just click out of that for just a moment, and go back into the menu, um, you've got um, quick picture and sound settings on there as well. If we select that, It'll ask us to do we want to start, we just click OK for, uh, for that to start. And it'll ask us do we want to run the TV in standard mode or energy, energy saving. So on this side of the screen, this is the sort of picture you will achieve on energy saving and this is the sort of picture quality you can achieve on standard mode. You've got to make the decision what you think is best. To be quite honest with you, this TV, um, the power consumption is extremely low with it being an LED TV. You're only looking at 148 watts anyway, even in standard mode. So extremely low power consumption. So on this one, I would prefer the standard setting. So um, we just press OK. Put a little tick on there to say that's what you selected. And then it says um, uh, to select your personal picture settings, um, standard or personal. So if we just say go over to personal and click OK. It will then go through the mode and ask us which side of the picture do we prefer, whether it's the left or the right. If you prefer the right hand side of that image, um, it's highlighted in the box here, just click that, put a little tick on here. It will ask us again which side of the image do you prefer, so select whether it's left or right and then just click OK. Yet again, same thing, left or right. And it just takes you through a, through a few preset modes for you to select. And it's a nice easy way of setting up the colour, contrast, brightness and sharpness to the picture that you prefer. Um, it then goes through the sound stage, uh, which switches us through the sound settings and asks us uh, which of the different sound settings do we prefer on there as well. Now you've also got Ambilight on this TV, so at the moment I'm just going to come out of this just for a second. And what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll just dim the lights in here and we'll go through the, uh, the Ambilight features for you, uh, which we'll do now. Okay, so what we have here now, uh, we've just dimmed the lights in here to show and demonstrate the, uh, the Philips Ambilight system to you. What the Ambilight system does, you've got lights behind the panel at this side, on um, the right hand side and the left hand side of the screen. This is the, the Philips Ambilight Spectra 2 system. And what it will do, when you've got a blue image on the screen here, or red, it will project that light behind the screen for you. It actually gives you the impression, first of all, of uh, having a bigger set than what you've actually got um, because it's projecting that, uh, that light behind the screen, um, uh, which also produces a bigger depth of field when you're viewing the actual product itself and immerses you more in the movie or whatever you're watching in there. You get a, a better feel, a better depth, uh, and a better, uh, just a, a better overall um, sort of uh, experience of what you're actually viewing. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, pretty much a unique feature, uh, feature to Philips and does work really well. And I said that, uh, that colour system will change depending on the colours of the screen. Whatever the colours are on the screen, it will be projected behind the panel onto the wall. You can also go into the menu on this TV. Um, at the moment we're using a white background on here, um, but if you've got beige walls or whatever they may be, you can uh, first of all set uh, on the TV uh, the correct colour uh, for the backdrop of the TV as well uh, to make sure you get the uh, correct colour balance that's being projected onto it. So a beautiful unique system from Philips there, it's called the Ambilight Spectra 2 um, but as I said uh, it gives you a real uh, depth of feel to the image and it really immerses you into uh, to the movie or whatever you're, you're watching there as well. Okay so we've seen the, uh, the Ambilight feature on the TV there um, as I said, you look at a range of sets here which are 200 hertz scanning apart from the 32 inch which is 100 hertz. 
500,000 to 1 contrast ratio, extremely good contrast ratio. Um, the sets are all full HD, so we'll cope with 720p, 1080i and 1080p resolution. Extremely slim panels, LED technology. You can also, with this range of uh, models on the 8605 series, upgrade them to uh, 3D TV. They are 3D ready, um, but you would need an additional unit. It's called a PTA02, PTA02, to adapt this TV to 3D. So you don't have to go out and, you know, in a year or two's time, start changing the TV if you decide that you want a 3D TV. This TV is perfectly capable of uh, receiving uh, and showing you 3D uh, images. You just need the PTO2 uh, adapter to go on the set, of which you receive two pairs of glasses when you buy that kit. Um, that kit currently, currently retails for £249. Um, the, the kits themselves are available from the end of August, um, early September uh, of 2010. Uh, the TV set itself um, has web function uh, capabilities. You can either wire it through the Ethernet uh, socket, which is seen on the rear of the TV, but yet again, you can also do it um, wirelessly. To do it wirelessly, you will need an adapter called the PTA01. That's the PTA01, uh, which is a wireless dongle to be able to plug into uh, the USB socket, and then you can actually get um, uh, start browsing the web uh, wirelessly. Um, Yet again, that uh, particular unit at this moment in time uh, retails for around £50. Um, well, that's the PTA01 if you want to get a wireless dongle for this so you can browse the web wirelessly. So a range of sets here which are absolutely stunning in features and build quality. I'll tell you now, if you're looking for um, an LED TV, a flat panel TV, I'd probably look no further. It's an absolutely stunning set, not just in picture and sound quality, but also in build quality as well. Uh, if you want more details on this, I would say give me a ring. My name's Chris on 01204 861 861 or go to our website which is soundinvision.co.uk or just click the link for more details. Thank you.